long time no see. I had a dream that Lindsay DeFranco and I were hanging out. And she asked me what dates I was going to see BTS. But I couldn't remember, so I looked at my phone and I was looking through my phone. But at this event, it ended and there was like, I don't know, it was like some Halloween town looking niggas and they were kind of scary. And Lindsay was freaking out and we got separated from Phil and she couldn't find Phil. So we were like, okay, we're just gonna go to the car. This is weird. One of the Halloween town people, like, she was trying to, like, kidnap me. Or, like, she kept ch touching me. And I was, like, I was scared. I was like, I don't understand. Like, this is not okay. This is freaky. I don't like it. So we went to her car. And she was like, we're just gonna go. But I can't find Phil. I don't want to be in this small car. Even though it wasn't small. It was, like, a normal-sized car. She was like, I want to be in Phil's big truck. I feel safer in that. And I was like, okay, well, let's just get in your car. And we'll leave where we are. And we'll call Phil and we'll ask him to meet us so that we can get in his truck. She was like, okay, that's a good idea. So we're driving. But like, like I said, the event let out. So everybody was like in the streets. And there were like little children and they were like, I don't know. At some point we saw like people in scary black cloaks and she's just like freaking the fuck out. And so she's like speeding and her like tires are spinning out and like the the hood is starting to smoke but i thought the hood was starting to smoke because her like tires were burning out and i was like oh my god she's gonna hit somebody's kid and it was just a lot but like she was so scared and i was scared too like it was scary and then as we're leaving something happens and we end up like falling down a hill like the car the car rolls down a hill and into the woods and then we're in the woods and we're like fuck and there's no service so we can't call or tell anybody so then we're like okay let's walk around or something i don't know i don't think we got out of the car yet uh, but at some point i was like you give me give me the phones and you drive and i'll see when there's service so that we can tell somebody where we are and get help. But at some point we got out of the car and, or rather it was more like the car disappeared and Lindsay also disappeared, but my body was still moving as if I was in a car. Like I wasn't telling, I wasn't controlling where I was going. I was just along for the ride for a little bit. And then we ended up in this house and there wasn't any Halloween town people. Um, there was just like, I was actually like a big black family and I was like going through all the rooms trying I don't know if I was still trying to find Lindsay or if I was just trying to get out of the house or something I don't know but I was like going through these rooms and sometimes it seemed like they couldn't see me but then at some point they did see me and I was at some point I was carrying like a bunch of balls of yarn all different colors of yarn and one of the ladies in the house stopped me and I talked to her and she asked me for something and I was like sure what do you want and she was like I really want some of this some of this yarn you have and I was like okay pick out anything you want like i you can have any of this and she was like i want the lavender yarn and so she took the big ball of lavender yarn and i was going through all the other balls i had in my arms and i was like looking for some more lavender ones but also i was like i was produce i don't the yarn was coming from my mouth like I had yarn, more yarn in like under my tongue or something and I'd like reach in my mouth and pull it out. And it was just like another giant blob of yarn. I don't know. And I woke up shortly after that cause my alarm went off. But before that, I remember being at home 
my dad bought some kind of like he bought you know um basketball basketball hoops in like arenas or basketball courts um they're like on some kind of arm and the in you need I don't know electricity you need to like flip a switch and it brings it down or like it unfolds does anybody know what the fuck I'm talking about like I don't know how to describe it but it was something like that it was like a giant mechanical arm that my dad bought and put a fucking tv on so that my brother could lay on the floor and play video games and the arm just brings the tv down from the ceiling like not like a projector screen like it wasn't like that it was like a flat screen tv on a thing anyway he did that for my brother and then he was talking about he asked me when i was going to new york to see bts and again i didn't know what the dates were so i think like obviously this must have been what led up to seeing Lindsay and her asking me so then he said something to me and it made me cry I don't I don't even know I honestly don't think that it was something he said I think I like started thinking about something and I upset myself and started crying but he noticed and he was like asking me why I was crying and I couldn't I, I didn't even get to tell him like I don't I wouldn't have even known what to say and I didn't want to explain it to him and something about I was making dinner my mom was saying that there was like she said there was like some fish or something and then I like opened some box with no fucking fish in there and then I was boiling something I think I was making rice or something I don't know I guess it's not that important considering all the other shit that happened but yeah it's been a long time thanks for watching sweet dreams